As a tournament administrator, it would be advantageous to possess the capability to include participants in large numbers, given that you might have acquired the participant registrations from numerous origins. In addition to individual participant additions, the system also provides a bulk import function. It presents a downloadable template tailored to the tournament type, sporting format for each participant. This template enables you to input data into corresponding columns and subsequently upload the file into the system. The system then performs validations for each field, presenting a preview of the data to be imported along with any potential errors detected. Corrections can be made to the data prior to finalizing and adding them as applicants. The video comprehensively addresses key considerations that must be taken into account during the import process. This video showcases a creation of a contingent or a championship tournament where the application is submitted as a team, despite the fact that the individual participants will be added for sports such as tennis. Additionally, no modifications have been made to the field in the form section. The default form for each event is being used here. Navigate to the participants tab of the relevant event and click on import applicants at the bottom of the page. This action will initiate import applicants wizard. In this scenario, we are focusing on importing data for the men's tennis singles category. The system has created a template file which can be downloaded based on the sport and fields that you have customized in the forms tab. Open the CSV template file and you will notice that you have multiple columns encompassing team related information. The demonstration pertains to a championship tournament, hence the inclusion of two distinct columns for team details namely team name and team short name are shown here. It is important to note that these two columns will not be present when conducting a standard tournament. Every individual row corresponds to a player taking part in the event. Rows featuring players with identical team names and team short names will be consolidated within the same team. For example, if you have three players within the cheetah team, you would create three separate rows where the team name is cheetah name and the short name is CHT and then the player name and email. You will also see additional columns for the fields you had included in the application form. If you have an email field, the system validates for uniqueness within each event. Also, there can be a maximum of 500 rows per import. If you have more than 500 players, then you can do multiple imports. Moreover, the system conducts thorough validation checks for every field, promptly indicating any errors present within the imported data. Corrections for these details can be swiftly made within this interface. Once adjustments are finalized, you can proceed by clicking on the import button to conclude the process. Once you create and upload the template file, the system presents the imported data as a form which has been filled along with the option to choose color for the team and the team logo and the player image. If you choose to add these special information, you can choose to add them here. The system also does validation for each of these fields and shows if there are any errors in the data imported. You can choose to correct this information here and click import. It is important to be aware that the system automatically accepts imported participants. However, since these are imported applicants, the system doesn't verify whether they adhere to the age or gender restrictions that may have been established in this tournament. Additionally, these imported participants must be claimed by the team administrator and the player in order for the statistics to be linked in their respective profiles. Next, let's proceed proceed to import of females doubles under 19. The process remains consistent. You go to the respective event and download the template file for that specific event. When the field remains unchanged, the key distinctions in a doubles event lies in how the player partners are organized. Specifically, partners are paired in consecutive rows. In practical terms, the first and the second row forms a pair, followed by the third and the fourth rows, and so on. It is essential to note that additional validation criteria here. The successful import hinges upon the inclusion of an even number of partners. Participants. Once you upload the file, the system will show the grouping of players and teams. Again, you can choose to add the team logo, color, player profile image and complete the import process. Similarly, in the case of a basketball event, which is a team sport, you can access the corresponding template file and for download. Notice that the template file does not have player information. That is because we have disabled collecting player information from the division tab. So here we are basically importing team information and each row represents a team. However, if we had added the player information collection, then each row would represent player and players will be grouped in a team based on the team name and team short name. So we will complete the import of teams for this division.
To summarize, when performing imports, it is crucial to remember that each row signifies a player and these players are grouped according to the team name and team short name. Furthermore, for doubles events, consecutive rows are paired as partners. It's worth noting that each import operation can accommodate a maximum of 500 rows.